Hey, 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 hey. Welcome in, Cake Clan. How's everybody doing today? It's Wednesday. Man, we got this dope challenge. I'll be honest, this morning I was lighting off that towel, getting a little uh, tiny snack brekkie up in my body, and watching Pharaoh do his thing. And uh, Joe Lee came up in chat and she's like, hey, hey, look at my score. Then she was nice enough to share her deck, so prop to, props to Joe Lee uh, throwing this deck out there. And of course, it's called the Long Shot Challenge. All range units deal half damage, but have double range. So right away, we know that Timmy's and Nathan are going to be super dope in this challenge because they have the longest range of all cards out there. So the idea here is put out some meat stacks, you know, to make those other range units your opponent's going to put down target those things rather than the NK and you just kind of alternate back and fro and the idea is to knock down their meat bags uh, focus on their range units and then start just wiping out that new kid all the while while you have say a Nathan or a Timmy already locked on that new kid maybe a Bebe or something like that so let's get into the, the matches just real quick then we'll showcase the deck. You can see I've got two losses, and I'll be very honest with you. Both of those losses came because Rusty Whore Fat Fingered, and I either uh, lightning bolted the new kid when I was aiming for Som, or, oh, this is the worst one, I lightning bolted an Ike when I was aiming for a Mecha Timmy. Ugh, goodness. <laughs> no coming back from that. There just wasn't enough time on the clock for me to work back that bar. But uh, here we start out with a pretty schwank hand. We got this Space Warrior token we're going to throw in the back. The opponent goes with some Freeze Protocol. He puts out that Sky Unit, and now he plays real heavy. So let's see if we can put this Psalm to work while these units try to march up on us. Finally brings out that Bebe. clear the field and then of course we're going to som those range units away so here comes the terrence and philip let's stick out another range unit out here because we're going to lose some we'll let these range units just clear terrence and philip before they get too close and we'll put butters on butters action there just to again prevent these range units from taking the loss so they're going to be locked on to nk now we're going to send ike up the gut to make him play some energy to keep him behind so he throws out the Enforcer Jimmy. We'll go ahead and put Space Warrior Token up front because we know he's coming. We want to keep those range units protected for as long as we can. So Hook Hand Clyde comes in as we lose Bebe. Takes out Enforcer Jimmy. And we get the victory off the back end from Kyle just beating it down. Sorry, bud. That was a good game. I tried to get it out there. So one more match. And we'll jump into the packs, we'll jump into the deck, we'll see how it's going there. Now definitely going to do a couple of different deck variations. I'd like to try some red and green. I've had a couple of clan members show their decks and uh, how well they did. And it's just, uh, I don't know, for me I love challenge mode guys. I love trying 10 or 12 or 8 or 9 or 3 or 4 different deck sequences and... You know, sometimes there's that sweet golden honey pot of a deck sequence that's going to get you all three of those bars in around a minute and 10 or a minute and 15 seconds. And of course, those are always fun too if you're trying to race through these challenges fast to get to those rewards quickly. So, uh, an, okay, an okay start up here. We're going to wait for a play and we're going to stick out Hook Hand Clyde. So this is going to be that red-green deck that I'm probably thinking about trying here in a bit. This is going to be a couple of nice uh, units, tanky, stuck behind uh, the Awesome-O, delivers the Youth Pastor Craig to try to prevent any sort of clear cards happening. Let's see if Som can put in some damage here. Maxi's still healing up. Osimo looks to be ready to fall down. Nathan's putting in some damage, but that Clyde coming in, making it tough, making it rain. So we got to wait for Terrence and Philip here, guys. So we lose a range unit. Osimo puts down the freeze. 
all the range units locked on NK, this is what you want to aim for, guys. Getting those range units locked on NK while your opponent is stuck trying to put cards down to prevent that slower march coming at your new kid. That's exactly what you want to try to do, guys. So the opponent pulls off heavy at the beginning. Terrence and Philip get in there and do most of the job they're supposed to do. Nathan and Timmy still putting down some hurt back there. Go ahead, use that token charge. Happens to be on a Kenny, so the opponent is getting a little bit of energy back. Now, slow plays by Rusty right there. So we're going to lose Mecha, or we're going to lose uh, Pirate Ship Timmy, rather. In comes the poison from the opponent. Pro play there. Will Butters be enough? Butters is not enough, but Nathan gets the job done. So we tied up here. Hotty, Hotty Yak, 72-168. What a good match we're having here, guys. So we're going to go with Som. And then we're going to go ahead and put in a ranged unit. We'll get that new kid getting shot at already. Looks like the opponent is waiting out. We're going to try this here. That didn't do any friggin' damage at all. <laughs> that did, like, no damage to Maxi. So anybody watching this, understand that Som will do jack all to Maxi. He won't uh, hurt him, like, in the slightest. So opponent's got a pretty decent push coming in here again. We gotta stop this Butters. That Maxi putting in some damage. That Youth Pastor Craig is gonna be an issue. He's going to be an issue, so we got to do something about that. Uh-oh, Jimmy almost gets the job done. Look at that. Jimmy almost getting it done. Is Kenny. Kenny is enough. Good game, my friend. Good game. Well played. So that gives you 11 points, guys. I could have done a little better. But there we see a decent deck showcase to start out the day. If you folks want to give it a shot, go ahead and give it a shot. Let's see what a score of 11 and 3 gives you. So it gives you an 1147. Obviously tons of room for improvement. I did face that fella above me, New Deck Hudis. Quite a few others throughout this uh, little run here. So we see the top score is 1499. And there she is still, JoJo Lee. She's getting her done. So that's the deck we kind of went through here, folks. We're going to give it a couple more shots now that we've got them towels twisted up and we kind of understand the operation of the deck a little bit more. And I guarantee you we're going to get a higher score. But let's run into these little rewards right quick. And then we will showcase that deck. Materials, materials, materials again getting those coins and materials it is so important to be able to get a decent score on this on your free playthrough but if you've got them greenbacks folks 50 cash buy-in you can get yourself some somewhat of a solid deck build uh, it's always fun to jump in there and try again and get those rewards these rewards are juicy the coins the materials, how they add up, the amount of rare cards, the few epics they throw in there. To me, definitely worth 50 cash money. It's five bucks more than that PvP pack I'm going to buy into. But man, all the extra rewards, except for that purple. I mean, that's the big variant on PvP packs. You get purple. But here, you get a nice amount of rares. You get a good amount of materials. And seriously, them coins, that's where the big value is at for me. Now, if you would be able to get more legendary drops out of these packs, hey, hey, hey. Let's keep on trucking, Cakers. A few more packs to go. And then we're going to get into the real-time breakfast. We're going to get underneath that Wesley Snipes towel. Bring out Mr. Pipes, Wesley Pipes. We're going to put him in. We're going to get it done today, guys. We're going to grind out and farm this challenge so much. It's going to be so fun today. Looking forward to it. Probably going to do the same tomorrow. 1750 on the gold. And only one more people pack because we failed to hit that magic number of 12 wins. But, Kagers, I guarantee you we're going to get there. We're going to get there about 12 or 15 times today. Maybe a few more. 
So there you see a nice little spread of cards, folks. Let's run over into that deck screen right quick. Ooh, wait. I forgot I have a PvP pack. Let's open up this PvP pack right quick. Let's get some more juicy prizes. Let's get that purple. Getting the materials. Getting that outlaw twerk. See that witch garrison up in there. Of course, that filthy Dougie. And that Labar Jimmy. Rounding it off. A decent PvP pack. So the deck, folks. The deck. Let's do that. Now, of course, this might change over time. Like I said, I'm definitely going to try a couple of different styles of decks. But you got that Robo Bebe. Of course, the range unit doing what it has to do. Hitting with that half damage. But as she kills stuff, speeds up fantastically. Pairing her with that Bounty Hunter Kyle makes that half damage disappear right quick. Of course, Nathan, longest range unit in the game. Him and Timmy's. So those two dudes are going to be... Super important. Maybe you want to try a Mecha Timmy in this setup just to add the mind controls. Maybe you want to do that. I kind of like the idea of having that Pirate Ship Timmy over there because Pirate Ship Timmy is going to be able to hit that big boom when he gets that charge up. And that's going to clear some of those units coming at you because you might not have that stand of many moons ready. You might not get that good RNG off of that hook hand Clyde. That parrot might completely miss them targets. So you got Astro Butters, again a good sweeper right there, 2 drop, he could put in that damage on those range units that are already locked in on stuff. Or of course if you just want to send them in for a, an absolute death to get that crack combo off of them man, take care of it, do it as you wish. You got that lightning bolt for some of them trouble units as I mentioned before, I'm a very non beefy person, IRL, but uh... For some reason, I kept uh, I kept putting them fat fingers on the screen today. I kept getting them big fingers in the way, and that lightning bolt was hitting the wrong targets. Man, I'm probably going to have nightmares tonight. I lightning bolted an Ike, y'all. Come on, how do you lightning bolt an Ike? That's what I did. we got to get this finger on point. Finger, start doing your job, finger. So there you see again that Smuggler Ike doing that same kind of work as an Astro Butters without giving that crack combo, but he's good for cleanup. He's good for getting those targets off the field. Space Warrior Token. Uh, again, I don't utilize this card too often, but he is challenge ready sitting there at level 3. And um, honestly, having that little charge that he has, it gets him across the field. It gets him up at NK quite a bit quicker and usually a little bit faster than your opponent wants it to happen. So as I noticed quite a few times in my playthrough, he was getting bolted, he was getting... Uh, power binded, you know, they were waiting and throwing the poison after another card might group up, but he was getting targeted by clear cards. It was kind of odd. And then, of course, that staple, Terrence and Phillip, farting, farting, and farting. It's a pretty good deck, average cost at 3.2. Again, my score of 11.3 does not give this deck justice. You can definitely go 12 win, 0 losses with this deck. You can put down that hurt and get that good score and open up those good prizes. So my Kate Clan, if you enjoyed, if you liked this deck, if you enjoyed watching me get my ass kicked there, watching me get a good victory beforehand, why don't you click that like button? Maybe you're new here. Maybe you want to tap that subscribe button too. There's going to be more deck posts coming today, coming tomorrow, guys. So Kate Clan, look forward to seeing y'all then. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to bring your towel. Please keep smoking, y'all. Remember, Rusty Whore always see on the flip side. And peace. Peace, peace, peace. Peace.